It's Thursday, December the 30th. Dude. We're at the end of the year. It is the last Thursday. Yes, it is. Forever. Yeah. It's actually, there's there's uh, no other Thursdays after this. They're getting some, rid of Thursdays. Uh, boy, something like that. <laughs> uh, but this is uh, part one of our TNIB end of the year specials. And this week, you have tuned into the 2021 Listener Awards. Hell yeah. Listen, don't ever say we don't do anything for our fans, mm. all right? You say that every year. <laughs> every year. All right? Year. And it's, it's true. Fail. Every year. All right? Yeah, every year? Okay. Well, if this is your first time here this year, then I'll fill you in on some of the details. Every year, we put out a list of categories, and we shout out to you on all our social media the listeners to send in your nominees and suggestions for best of whatever categories you've put up. So we've got a whole bunch of them to go through. We had a couple people write in. We had our favorite people write in. That's true. And uh, we've compiled a Google spreadsheet. We did. Or sheets. I, I was, was going to use Excel yeah. and I was like, you know what, Vince, he loves his Google sheets. We couldn't have used Excel. Dude. Why? I don't have Excel. I was going to send you a cloud file and everything. <laughs> Can you believe it? The guy, the guy who has to work in this shit every day. I don't know. I don't own Office. <laughs> they can't even like give you a free key. Like... No, like I only have it on my work computer. Oh, so wow. I don't, on my right. personal, I, I don't. This I, is work. All right. This, this is, is a work, work computer. Like, well, we're sponsored by Google this week. So, yeah, we compiled a sheet. I've put together all the, or you and I have put together all the, nominees now I, I will say i put together these nominees but i just listed what each of the listener has wrote down for their stuff but i know some of them came with a bit of like some caveats yeah so if you want to pull those up you can read through them i mean we could go like we can it's a little bit hard i just know the the one that was really important is that if in our awards when we talk about or if we talk about the new spider-man movie don't spoil it yeah, there's that one. We have yeah. been asked to not spoil that movie. Yeah, I know. I know. Paul wrote in saying something about like to help him decide which one the, the, he missed out on a couple things this year for like his uh, never got around to it. He wants okay. to know which to prioritize. But I know there's there's a couple of or there's definitely a lot of uh, commentary. I don't know if it was from Brian or or Rafi. They had a bit of commentary on this kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. I'll, I will. I will look them up. But. Since we've mentioned them, uh, I will give you the rundown of all the listeners who who, who decided to Hell participate yeah. this year. Number one, we got Gabe. Zagabatul. Listen, I, I I knew he was a, a robot weeb. Yeah, but I didn't I didn't know about his deep love for the the South of Korea. Oh my dude, goodness. this is so surprising. Yeah, one and only uh, Joseph Hazel is here. Ooh, uh, Roland or Lon. Orlando. Juan had some some he, picks. He had some picks. He had right. some picks. He had some picks. He we'll, had some picks. I I took a look. I was like, dude. He's getting a little spicy in a couple of these picks. Some picks right. here. Uh we got Rafid Khan. Sub dude. Who was just no like no no BS down to business. He said, I'm only gonna give you the nominees. No runner ups. These are the picks. Yeah, because there's there can only be one. And you know what? <laughs> I respect I that. appreciate I it. I like that. I'm really into that. Uh of course. Brian Mack wrote in, mm -hmm. and uh, his first one, he, I only read his first one, but he, in, he, he has a nominee that's here on a technicality, and I'm all for it, baby. On a technicality? And I'm all for it, baby. Okay, I'll all tell right. you what it is. All right. And then finally, our favorite. Paul Chu. Paul Chu. The, the boss of, uh. The boss of the listeners? Uh, the listeners, pretty yeah, much. I would absolutely. say he's the head honcho. Yeah, you know when you saw Pokemon and you saw the Squirtle Squad? Yeah. Paul's the one wearing he's the glasses. He's got the sunglasses on? Hell yeah. yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Um, I just watched that episode recently. That's a, that's a good episode. That's, that's a sick episode. That's a good episode. That's a wicked episode. Anyways, um, so they've all written in. They've given us their nominees. And Anthony, do you want to run through the categories? Just let the audience know what yeah. we're all doing. So uh, sometimes we change up the categories. This year we just we kept it the same. You know, 2021, kind of a lot like 2022. So, we, right. you know what? We need some some just consistency, you know? Keep everyone's mind at ease. Mm -hmm. So we got everyone's favorite hottest female. Absolutely. As men, yeah. we like females. And we need to figure out who is number one. But also as men. But also as men, yeah. we love dudes. Yes. So we also have to figure out hottest male because yes. these bro, like these bros out here, be getting 
sexy. Absolutely. You know, I'm just like, hey, and maybe there's a little, you know, just like a little peck there. Yeah. Uh, after that, we got most underappreciated. This can be anything. It could be a person. It could be a game. It could be a toy. It could be uh, your your favorite buoyant gas. All right. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> you, you can pick whatever you want. After that, we have disappointment of the year. Something that happened this year that just like, you're like, man, that sucks. Yeah. I can't believe that happened. Mm-hmm. Damn. Uh, late to the party award is something that you discovered in 2021 or that you just got around to watching in 2021 and or playing or whatever. Uh, but it had to have not have been this year. It had to have been from at least a year's past. Right. But there's no uh, limit for how far back you can go. Of course. We got best meme. It's pretty ex- self-explanatory. Best mm-hmm. surprise. Something that, you know, mm-hmm. you weren't expecting to enjoy, but you did. We got never got around to it. This is just like backlog shame. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, I'm going to do this. And then you didn't. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you put it like that. Uh, we got song of the year. Uh, we got TV show of the year. Movie of the year and game of the year. And those yes. are the, the four uh, bigger, big ones. And then at the very end, we have best of the year. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this one for. Are we going to do it the same how we do it for the listeners? Because some listeners had wrote in their best of the year. And I feel like we got to veto them. I because mean... how best of the year works is that we take the winner from each category and we look at that list and we think of out of all the winners. What's the best of the year? No, I think what we can do is for the ones who wrote in the best, that'll be their submission for best. Okay. All right. Okay. That's their submission. Mm-hmm. And then I guess everything else is blank. Everything else is blank. We can pick whatever from the categories that they have. Okay. And then as a bonus at the end, no awards. And this is not an award. It's just what are you excited for for next year? You know, what's got you, what's got you hyped? Yeah. What do you got? What do you got going on? Mm-hmm. So those are all of our awards and really it's it's that's it self-explanatory we can get into hottest female if you want right now sure let's do it so hottest female yeah gabe writes in runner-up zendaya okay and i've okay listen i've seen a lot of love for zendaya going around the internet so have i but i mean spider-man just came out she also was like the lead in dune so i don't get it dude I don't get it. Interesting. I don't get it. Interesting. Uh, but his nominee... I feel like Zendaya is the exact opposite of the type of girl you like, though. Really? What do you mean? Because you're more on like the Cardi B side. Cardi B's pretty Like banging. the Nicki Minaj side of things, right? <sighs> pretty banging. Zendaya is like the exact opposite of what those those females... Really? Okay. I would say. Okay. You know what? I could see that. I can see that. Maybe I, I've only ever seen her in the Spider-Man movies. Yeah. I've never really like, seen her on the carpet or oh, whatever. Have you not? Like, I've never... She looks so different. Oh, does she's she? All done up. Okay, I'm just yeah. thinking about Spider-Man. I'm like, oh, okay. What? Okay. Okay. I don't get it. Okay. So maybe I got to give her a chance, but I don't know. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but nominee, yeah. Gabe, in true, true weave fashion, keeping it 2D. Hell yeah. All right. Hell yeah, Ru Gina from Quadruple S Dynazenon. Bravo, sir. Bravo, sir. Uh, I watched a little bit of this, and Mu Gina... What a cunt. <laughs> what? Why? Is she the blonde girl who doesn't talk to anybody? No. Who's Mujina? Who's Mujina's Mujina? a, vi- a villain. Oh, okay. I haven't got to her She's yet. one of the big four. Oh, man. She's... Mwah. All right. Because when he said Mujina, I was thinking of the... No, you're thinking the main girl? Yeah, the main girl the, who's just total blonde? bitch. No, yeah. No, 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 fuck that bitch. Not her. Not her. She sucks. Yeah, she she's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mujina. After that, we got Joseph Hazel. Joseph writing in with just the winner. I think his actual commentary for this was... was um, no one else will compete. This person will step on the competition. Yeah, yeah. That's what he what, said. Absolutely perfect write-in. And uh, he wrote in Lady Demetrisu from, from Resident Evil 8. Yeah. Or Resident Evil Village. Yeah, the village. Um, big booby mommy milkers step on me mommy. I don't get it. <laughs> you don't get... Listen... Do you not want to be stepped on by a nine foot zombie woman? To be honest, no. Why not? I, I'm, that's not my Bruh. life. Bruh. No. All right. No. Teach their own. Teach their own. Uh, we got Lan with uh, runner up Olivia Rodrigo. She hit it big this year, she right? She did. She, she had that out with driver's the, yeah, license. With, with, yeah. Uh, she got sued by a record company for stealing Paramore's song. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's doing it all. 
Yeah, I forgot that she came out this year because her big song came out like at the beginning, like in January, if I, if I recall. Yeah, for dri- I think for Driver's License. Yeah. And, and then, then she had that one where it's like, yeah, happy and healthy. Yeah, whatever that is. Yeah, okay, sure, sure. Right. Uh, I like that song. That song's pretty good. It's all right. It's fun. It's all right. Uh, But his nominee, the person I don't get, Zendaya. Again, Zendaya. Yeah, showed up again. Good uh, for you, Zendaya. Right. <laughs> Thanks for being hot, you know? <laughs> just making the world a better place Damn, it's just a visual feast I, okay i gotta have you ever like had a bad day and, and what do you look at then, a like, hot girl and then you just like looked at a hot girl on the street you're like you know what it's not that bad i guess yeah but like it has to be organic like, yeah, no, no, yeah definitely yeah, i remember one time i was in toronto this year yeah and i was just like there's a bunch of homeless people yelling and shit and i was yeah. just like this isn't great and you know i saw a really hot chick i'm like you know what Ain't so bad. It ain't so bad. You know, it's yeah. pretty good. Right. Yeah, it definitely happened. Damn, the power. Right? Absolutely. You know who else has happened. power? Uh-huh. Rafid Khan, because he oh. wrote in with his oh, nominee, shit. Jolene Cujo, my man. My man. So I just need to say here, for Jolene Cujo, she does absolutely count for hottest female. Hell yeah. But I don't know if it's for the same reasons as the other ladies are being put in this list. You're right. It's a better reason. Oh, God. For okay. being a badass uh, boss bitch. <laughs> they hate to see a girl boss winning. You know what they say. Okay. All right. All the right. patriarchy keeping our girls down. Oh, <laughs> I opened the can. Here. Oh, fuck me. Uh, Brian Mack writes in with uh, writes in with a Mack attack. Uh, <laughs> writes in with his nominees for Hottest Female. The runner-up is Zendaya, specifically. What's in, up, Zendaya? In Dune. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back for a third time, specifically in Dune. Yeah. All right. And then his nominee is, I'm going to assume this is the yeah, caveat. This is the caveat. All right. He picks Tifa from Final, Sa- Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. So the reason this is the caveat is because last year he picked this. Yeah. And I believe Tifa won the category. Or maybe I, not. I, I might have. Oh, I don't want it for ours. Yeah. Because me and TJ just... Because you guys are delinquents. <laughs> we ousted you. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but, but does this count? Does Integrate DLC, the thing that focuses on Yuffie, <sighs> does that count? I, I would. I would love to knock Tifa down a peg. Yeah. I would love to. But... As the person who puts in Jennifer Lawrence almost every year into his hottest female, I can't say shit. No, that's fine. Because yeah. then we just know where my vote's going. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, oh, I think that's the thing we forgot to <laughs> yeah. mention. Yeah. We pick the winners for our listener awards. <laughs> yeah. We forgot to mention that. Or I yeah. forgot to mention that. Yeah. Uh, whoever wins these categories is because we pick them. <laughs> yeah. We choose what our listeners like the most. Uh. Um, okay. And then the last one, we got Paulimus Chumis. Yeah. He's got a he's got a toss up here. Uh, his runners up were Haley Steinfeld. You know who that is? Ariana Grande. I don't know who Haley Steinfeld is. You ever watch uh, Bumblebee, the Transformers movie? Oh, is she the new the girl, Megan Fox? No, 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 no. She's clearly more of a child in that film. All right, okay. Uh, but she is. She currently pl- she's the voice of Spider Gwen in Miles Morales. Okay. And she's also uh, Kate Bishop in the Hawkeye series. Oh, oh, okay. I know who. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's right. that Haley. That's Haley Stein. Okay, and his nominee is someone I'm pretty sure he just made this up. Anna de Armas. Anna de Armas. Yes, Anna de Armas. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Yo, spoiler warning: who she's is... going to win hottest female for our picks. dude. No, she's not. She is. I'll no, tell you not. why. No time to die in Cuba. Oh, that girl. She's cute. Dude, she's so dude, hot. Dude, she's cute. She's so hot. I don't know, dude. She's so hot. I don't know, dude. Dude, she's so hot. We'll see. I uh, I got I got a hot blooded female. That's I think got, it's got some. Good I feel taste. like I know who you're picking. You don't know who I'm picking. All right, it's from a mangaka. You don't know who I'm picking. All right, you don't know. <laughs> all right, you just wait. Uh, all but right. th- so those are our picks. Hmm. We got a lot of Zendayas. I feel like it should just like logically. I feel like we go have. To I feel like we have to pick Zendaya just because she showed up three times. Yeah, if that's what the people are saying, right. that's what the people are saying. I mean, unless you have an argument for anyone else here, to which I would say, I uh, I could not argue Big Mommy Zombie Milkers for to you. I you will not take whatever argument I have to. No, talk about you, you're right. I wouldn't with that. Jolene Cujo though, not. If female empowerment at the wazoo, no, she is strong no. single female lawyer. I can't, I can't, I can't. Are like out of spite? No, or- I just, I just, because when I look at Jolene, I am not attracted to Jolene. 
What? Like not on a, on a physical level? No. Damn, homie. No. All right. Like that is not an anime character that I'm like, oh yes, that's who I want on a uh, on a body pillow. Yeah. Dakimakura. No. Yeah. I like. I do not want. You that. don't want a wall wall blah, 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 a wall scroll. No. Jolene. No. I, I don't, get you. One. I don't even want like her booby mouse pad. Like, you sure. No. Damn. I don't. It's fucked up. That's why I can't. That's why I can't go for her. I'm gonna get you a Daki Makura of a JoJo girl. Oh, you disgust me. You know, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get. You want the you want the milf? No. You, know, you sure? Go away with this right. shit. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what you want. All right. Uh, but so yeah, we're gonna pick Zendaya. We think the 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 listeners here have spoken. They, yeah. they picked her three times. Yeah, they did. So they absolutely did. All right. Next category: hottest male. Hottest male. Hottest male. I'll take this one. Gabe has written in for his two uh, entrance. For the I don't know, his yeah, runner up got the tongue tied over yeah. here. Get it. Keanu Reeves, which I can only assume for being Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, you know what? I would have gave it to you last year with the like you're breathtaking or whatever, and like but yeah, I'm kind of over it. I, I just I've never felt like Keanu Reeves was like a super hot dude that I really wanted to like. I think if I were a woman and I looked at him, I'd be like, you seem like a super chill boyfriend yeah like you'd be cool like you'd be stable relationship material ah uh, you're the nice guy Poor oh, kid. Poor kid. oh i didn't say that Poor kid. i didn't say Poor that kid. i'm sorry that's fucked up why you gotta do him like that Poor kid damn uh, but his but his nominee is tony lung and uh you haven't seen shang i haven't seen shang chi but i've heard tony lung is just smoking in that movie he is i mean for for an asian man of his age Looks pretty good, dude. Dilfs are real, all and right. I think, to be honest, though, it's got to do more with his uh, his character in that movie. Really? Okay. Because what a badass! Because right. if it was like Tony Long in one of his like younger, more comedic roles, mm-hmm. not even close. All right. Okay. But in Shang Chi for the for the badass dad that he plays, I can see it. I understand. I'm there with you. All right. Um, Joseph Hazel's runner up is Shang Chi himself. Okay. So who, who, who played? Simu Lu. That's the one. Right. That's the one. Um, and then his actual nominee is Jet from Cowboy Bebop. Damn, I didn't see this pick coming. Me either. That's uh, Jet looks weird in this show. I don't know if it looks weird. I don't know. That's normal. All right. I just didn't think that'd be a... Uh, okay, whatever. All right. Mm, whatever. I haven't, I haven't heard anybody on the internet talking about, like, hot damn. Yeah, like, I got nothing I mean, against Jet to it. lay down some pipe, you know? Yeah, I mean, let me just... Let me, let me Google yeah. Jet. Quickly... <laughs> to make sure make sure to specify cowboy bebop or just like man these these fighter jets looking pretty sexy like, yeah okay so like let's take a look at jet here let's uh this one right yeah this guy like he's, yeah he's a good looking dude like he looks cool but look good looking as jet mm, uh yeah i don't know uh, i just don't see it but okay that i mean right. you know what inspired teach pick. their own lon's runner up is simulu so Shang Chi again, yeah, yeah. Uh, but actually, I th- oh no, no, never mind. But his 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 real pick is Omni Man from Dude, Invincible. If he wasn't a war criminal, yeah, he would be pretty hot. <laughs> I got- think, remember, it's not about who they are. It's true, about, true. It's just are they? Hot? I just I I just can't escape the war criminality. <laughs> oh, this shit again. <laughs> this Dude, shit again. Omni Man's uh, evil, all right. <laughs> Rafi Khan with only the nominees, Henry Cowell. Hell yeah. That 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 man is what a specimen. He's, he's, what a specimen. It's unfair. Like he's cheating. I know. I don't know how he's cheating, but he's doing it. Uh Brian Mack has picked Simu Lu as well. But this Hell time yeah. for Kim's Convenience. Was the last season of Kim's Convenience this year? Yes, it was canceled this year. Oh, okay, okay. I believe that was this year, yeah. But his uh, actual pick is Tetsu. From Way of the House Husband. It's a good looking dude. I've seen him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's pretty. He's he's cool. He's he, cool looking. He is very cool looking. Yeah, he's cool looking. He's cool looking. What a oh, He's got the score on. He's got the sunglasses. Yeah, it's the sunglass. It's the panel where he has the headband with the sunglasses. Yeah, and me. then he's still wearing like the bear yeah. apron and it still yeah. looks cool. Damn. What uh, a good looking dude. Paul Chu has picked for his runner up Tom Hiddleston, also known as Loki. Okay. But his uh, actual nominee is Ryan Reynolds, a multiple winner of this award. He He's hot, all right? I don't know what to tell you. He's well, a good-looking dude. What was that uh, GTA movie he was in this year? Free Guy? Free Guy. He what? He he came out with a thing this year. So yeah, he, he's I mean, allowed he to be. 
put in, but I don't know if he was hot in Free Guy. I know he played like... Isn't Ryan Reynolds just hot all the time? Isn't that yeah. like his shtick, being hot and funny? What was the action movie he was in this year with The Rock? Oh, shit. He was in Red Notice. Yeah, Red Notice. And he played like a flirty yeah. kind of dude there. like he, he, he was Back talking, he was quipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. So, hmm. There, other than Simu Liu, there are no uh, overlaps. But the thing is, Simu Liu is nobody's nominee yeah no one actually picked simu lu they just like it's almost as if they put him there to respect the asian dude are you saying that's a, that's a race power play i think so that's that's fucked because at least it was in Dia. some people actually picked her as as one person picked her as, okay you're right yeah but yeah. it's more than zero well, I mean, for one of them, Zendaya was a pick, and the other one was anime, so she's like the hottest 3D girl. True. You can't compete with 2D. Yeah, like because the other two Zendaya picks were were 2D girls. All right. Okay. All right. So, I don't know. Anyways, but Simu Liu, I don't know. I'm, I, do you feel comfortable with making him the winner? And I, Joseph put Shang-Chi. Like, he didn't even put <laughs> his name. <laughs> Like he didn't even put Simu Liu. He just put the character Shang Chi. Shang Chi. <laughs> uh, Honestly, I would. <sighs> you'd give it to Shang Chi, not I, Simu Liu. Shang Chi. Listen, you, do you know who's the Henry Cavill of the two D space? Who? Omni Man. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. That he, he is like the pinnacle of like. Uh, like body uh like what you would want out of like a, a if i could be male yeah, body if i could look as hot as he does at his age with the mustache too yeah all right right because the other one i would i would i do like tetsu yeah i think he's super cool yeah but i don't think there's an argument for you because like he's not hot he's just cool yeah he's super cool yeah he's cool okay uh, you know what I, i'm down for omni man yeah because he, he showed up his thing all right, right. Omni Man. Ryan Reynolds, or... like, I don't think he was in anything that was like maybe be like, oh hell yeah, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> that you know of. And was Henry Cav- was Henry Cavill in The Witcher? This Witcher year? just came out. Witcher season two, like today? No, like no, yesterday, like two weeks ago. Oh, okay then. I didn't yeah. see it, but yeah, I haven't seen it yet. No. So yeah, Omni Man, dude. I'm saying Omni Man. Wow, Omni Man. That's a not a pick I would have expected, but awesome. Listen, they they picked it. All right, this is. The listeners' picks. Yeah, they did. Offer they knew it. what was happening they when they put shit. in their picks. All right. Damn. <laughs> Damn. All right. After that, we have the most underappreciated thing this year. Uh, you had mentioned Paul had wrote in. I hadn't. I can't bring up what his thing was to like pick between. Oh no no no! He wanted it for late to the party. Oh late to the party. Okay okay. Um, or but uh, for something under, else. For underappreciated, we'll start. Gabe Gabe's runner up is back for blood. No fucking way. Gabe, you played this? Did he, though? I don't know. You played Left 4 Dead again? I guess. And his nominee is Sakugan. Which is what? I have no fucking idea what Sakugan is. Quick Google to the rest. Saku, Sakugan. Sakugan. Oh, anime. It is anime. It is. Oh, this one. Oh, Wait, is this the one with the robot and he, the daughter? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. He's like, was he like a minor or something? Yeah, yeah. This is the one that looks like um, budget Gurren Lagann. Yeah, yeah, yeah father yeah. daughter dirt Gurren Lagann. I've heard lots of good things. I should go back. This to watch is this. this is a good pick. All right, this All is right. a good pick. All right. Uh, after that, we have Joseph uh, with his runner up Eternals. Eternals. Everyone's most hated superhero movie this year. Wow. And okay. The nominee, which was a surprise even to me, because I didn't know this came out, and if I knew it came out, I would have brought it up as a review for this year. Uh, Why the Last Man, the animated series. Why the Last... Oh, yes, 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 yes. I did not know that this got an animated series. It did. Uh, Or else I would have brought it up as something to watch on the show this year, but damn. Canceled after 10 episodes. Yeah, that's a little rough. rough, dude. Didn't even complete the season. Yeah. Uh, after that, we got uh, Lan with runner up for underappreciated. Under. Okay. Remember, this is the underappreciated category when I say this. Underappreciated. Okay. His runner up is Fortnite. What? Fortnite is underappreciated this year. The biggest game in the world was underappreciated? The, the game that got Chun Li with a gun and Sasuke with a gun is underappreciated. You mean the game? 
that had Spider-Man whose web slinging was better than in the Avengers Spider-Man? Underappreciated. Sorry, we got to... St- I'm going to put a strike through on this one. All right, you know what else was underappreciated this year? What? His, his nominee. The Olympics. Oh, buddy, buddy. The biggest sporting event in history. Underappreciated. I would love to know why. I need to know the reasonings. Yeah, because like, I am I went through his email and... Um, He's got nothing. No, he just has the Google Doc, right? Bro. But there's no commentary. Have we ever know. vetoed a, a listener pick? I think we have to for this I think, one. I think you don't get this doesn't count. I, I don't know what rock you're living under. That's insane. That's crazy. Uh maybe you don't have the internet or something. Maybe you know what? Maybe he's like the turbo weebs we all hope to like we, we strive not to be. Just like, dude, the Olympics, this thing is sick. Do you know they have sports in real life? How could how <laughs> yeah, wow. All right. Uh, I've just crossed that one out. Sick. All right. Uh Rafiq Khan with only the nominee, Super Robot Wars 30. Super Robot Wars 30. Okay. I heard is good. I didn't play it. That one's also an interesting pick for underappreciated. Because I know the marketing around this was huge. The hype around this mm-hmm. was huge. It's like, at least for the people in the community. The community. Like, this is huge. And it even topped uh, Steam's October sales. Oh, really? So I don't know. Like, something that. It I think... definitely doesn't have like mainstream appeal. Absolutely. But I think that this still had more popularity than like. SMT5. Hmm. Uh, the SMT5 did get compared to Persona a lot this year. Yeah, and SMT5 kind of like it kind of came and it went. True. Like, but you know what? We'll keep it. I we'll mean, keep it. I don't think it's disqualification. No, it's not. Worthy. But it's just it's an interesting okay. pick, I guess. I uh, don't know. Brian Mack writes in with only a nominee. His pick for almost underappreciated is nothing because I'm not hipster enough. You know what? Good for you. Good for you. It's a pretty good pick. I like I that. I think that has a contention to win, you know? I like that. Not being a hipster is underrated. That's That might be the most hipster thing to say. That's, <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> uh, and last up, we got Paul Chu. Yeah. With uh, He's got two runners up. He's got Super Crooks. Mm-hmm. No idea what that is. I think it's a, I wanted to say it was a show. I I would hope so. Okay. It sounds like a, like a cartoon that I haven't heard of. No, I don't think it's that. Is it? It, it, it is. It is it? Animated series, yeah, yes. Right. It's on Netflix. All right. Super Crooks, and his other one is The Eternals. I got to watch that. But his nominee is something we both need to watch. Oh, yes. Is Odd Taxi. So, like, I, I don't know. Like, I know I've heard great things about this show. Mm-hmm. But I, it also is in the same vein as... um. What is it? Wonder Egg? Did you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, I don't know if it's actually good. I heard the thing with Wonder Egg is that it started off crazy strong for like five episodes uh. and then dropped off plus irrelevant plus ratio the rest of the time. Okay. But for Odd Taxi. Yeah. I I can't comment on it. I've only heard good things. Gigook made that video and then the internet was like, well, Gigook made a video, so it's got to be good. No. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Giga likes to make videos of shit. True. At the same True. time. That you just don't know. True. Okay. Uh, so, so I think this one's a little bit harder. Yeah. Uh, I kind of do want to pick... Brian? Not being a hipster is the most underappreciated. That's the most hipster answer you could have picked. Like in the world... In in the world of content, yeah, you know, being on term people being terminally online, yeah, everyone always wants to figure out the hot new thing so they can be cool, true, and be there and get the Twitter clout, true, right? But also, Sakugan looks sick. It does look sick, and I kind of want to give it to Sakugan just based on how cool it looks. Yeah. You, I okay. I will put my hat in with Sakugan as well. Okay. O- only because I feel like it, it better represents the spirit of the category. True, true. If we pick the troll pick of none. The meta pick. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you were close, Brian, but not quite enough. Oh, almost. You, you came in second. You were close second. Yeah. Sakugan it is. Next category is disappointment of the year. Just Ooh, as a baby. quick reminder, disappointment is basically the worst thing in 2021. Gabe's picks are, as a runner-up, the Netflix Cowboy Bebop. How this isn't number one, I'll never know. It's true. But his nominee is Valheim. Which, which I don't... What? 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 <laughs> Everyone loves Valheim. That's what I thought. I punch rocks all day. 
Uh, build houses and shit. Survive. I don't, I don't get it, but you know what? Fine, fair enough. All right. Okay. Joseph yeah. Hazel, runner-up, Venom. Let there be carnage. Now I've heard a lot of bad things about this movie. I heard this movie is very bad. I've heard only good things from one person. Seriously, <laughs> Blavin. Wait, he liked this? I think he liked it. I know he liked the end credits. I know he also liked the end credits. But I think I remember him saying that the movie was pretty good. But oh. everyone else on the internet is just like, LOL, Venom, how did it get a sequel? Like, Yeah, this movie looked like shit. Okay. Uh, but that's things? but that's not Joseph's not money. His actual one is Blizzard, the company. Okay. Which, <laughs> which I guess... Uh, again, this is one of those situations where, like, did he include an explanation here? I don't believe so. Well, obviously, they've been dragged well, recently. Activision Blizzard has. But is he saying Blizzard because Blizzard doesn't do anything this year? Like, Diablo 4 was nothing. Overwatch was nothing. Right? Like, I, it, I have to. I, I feel like Or it's... is it the Activision Blizzard type? Because he didn't write Activision. No, he just wrote Blizzard. Yeah. And I really feel like it's the political side of harassment and their whole thing that's going on there okay them not releasing diablo 4 maybe like all the game release stuff maybe i i heard the wow is just dog shit now all right and everyone moved over to final fantasy so i can see it it's true i can see it okay uh lon's uh pixar his runner-up is cowboy bebop for the second time all right it's coming up uh, but his nominee is the January 6th, the Capitol Riot. Dude, I didn't realize we're on fucking InfoWars here. What are these political choices What's going on, guys? Inspired pick. Like Why are not listeners so woke? I like your style. Dude. Uh, Rafid's pick is, his sole pick is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remake. I honestly forgot that these came out this year. I'm going to read to you his... Uh, Please do. His whatever that he wrote about why this is his pick. Rafid says, I've been out of the franchise since Sword and Shield. That's pretty new, dude. So that's the the most recent Pokemon before this. <laughs> I've played them all except for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, and he writes a bit more after that. Okay. But like, you know, okay, I'll read the rest. But like, that's the main point I wanted to get across. Because I was like, right. wow. <laughs> all right. Wait, was there, was there a poke? There has to have been a Pokemon before. Like in between Sword and Shield and this one, was there for us to for him to write that? Like I can't. That's like that's like amateur mistake. If you can find, all it, right, all right, read the rest of his thing and I'll try and find like it. Maybe there's Pokemon Snap too. Hell yeah! <laughs> Anyways, I've been out of the franchise since Sword and Shield, and I can't really say I was super excited for this, but still a bit of hope lingered. Watching a friend play through it and hearing about the weird changes, like making TMs single use again, just put me off. Hell yeah, that's that's a classic move. And yeah, no, it's Pokemon Sword and Shield, November 15th, 2019. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, November 19th, 2021. <laughs> Dude, what? Dude, you've been out of the franchise for what? Bruh. A total of 10 months? The the expansion came out on the 9th of this year. Or of uh, last for year. Sword and Shield? Yeah. So like... Maybe he didn't play the expansion? Damn, okay. Well, there you go. Um. Anyways, Brian Max. Uh, nominee is Record of Ragnarok. Hell yeah. For a disappointment. Hell yeah. And Paul Chu has his runner-up as Combatants Will Be Dispatched, Home Sweet Home Alone, and his major nominee is The Matrix Resurrections. Interesting. I've only heard 50-50 on The Matrix. I've, I think I got to curate my Twitter timeline because I've only heard good things. I think a lot of it is we love Keanu. And I think it's getting out of hand. I think I think gamers need to relax, all right? He did one meme last year for a game that wasn't even good. wasn't even finished. All right. All right? Chill. Chill, gamers. Um, all right? I mean, the only multiple we have is Cowboy Bebop. But there have not been any of the main nominees. And in, if we're not doing the meta pick for the last one, I feel like... All the politics pick. Yeah, the Capital Riots has to be out. It has to be out. Dude, but Record of Ragnarok, though. Holy moly. I, I want to pick that because... They dropped the ball because, on the kid. Because you sat me down to watch this. Hell it yeah. Was awful. They dropped the ball it was on those animations, awful. dog. 
uh, dropped it because that manga is sick. Well, yeah, which was so disappointing because whenever you would talk about it with TJ, I was like, this sounds pretty cool. It it is cool, but it, it really continues wasn't. to be cool. I, I don't believe but you. The 3D is not so cool. I don't believe you. It just wasn't cool. We'll watch season two. We won't. We will. Oh, I'll bring it up. You know, we could watch. We could watch the next fight. It's gonna be Hercules versus Jack the Ripper. Go away. It's gonna be sick. No. Hell yeah. No. No. But yeah, congratulations, Record of Ragnarok. You fucking suck. Yes. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Late to the Party. Uh, things that our listeners discovered or watched or experienced in 2021 that didn't come out in 2021. Mm. Uh, Gabe writes in with his runner-up, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, and his nominee is Itaewon Class. This is a drama? No. It is a K-drama. It's a drama. Okay. Yes, yeah, it yeah. is a K-drama. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Hazel. Writes in with runner up Afro Samurai, the animated series and the video games. There's which games? There are games. There are video games for Afro Samurai. I have not played them. Holy oh, I learned something new today. But uh I I damn, I, I didn't know they were good. Or maybe Joseph He doesn't state that capping. they're good. He, he doesn't just, <laughs> he just played them. All right, that's fair. But the Afro Samurai series is pretty cool. Fair. Uh and his nominee, bro. Bro, my man, I knew Joseph had my back the whole time. One Piece, baby. This man is starting the impossible. He has watched 70 episodes of One Piece. And for listeners who don't know, that's 7% of the series because there's a thousand episodes and it's still going. Joseph also puts barf emoji beside One Piece. Listen, we, we ignore that <laughs> shit, all right? We, we, we miss, miss me with that shit. All right. One Piece. Hell all yeah. Right. Uh, Land writes in with his runner-up, Cowboy Bebop 1998. Mm. That's a classic. Mm. But his nominee is the truest classic that I think you haven't watched yet. Not in full. Oh, my God. Spirited Away. <laughs> ah, I heard that won some awards. It's one of the best anime movies of all time, period. I think I remember I walked into TJ a couple of times watching this movie. Yeah. I sat down with him to watch it for 15 minutes. Yeah. And, and you left? And then I said, okay, I'm going home. Oh, my God. You're you're bad. You're a terrible person. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Rafid Khan writes in, just the nominee. Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. This man went straight hardcore JRPG. I see what happened with your year. You really became Turbo Weeb. He became year, Turbo Weeb. I love it, baby. Yeah. I'm, so I'm good. just going through your picks. Jolene, SRW30. Hell you're, yeah. You're going to hate on the Pokemon remakes, and now you're getting into Nocturne? Dude. Dude, you've you've graduated. Is this our fault? Gra- you know what? Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Good for you. Welcome to the club. Uh, late to the party for Brian Mack. With his uh, nominee is just Xbox Game Pass. Mm. That's a good pick. That's a good pick, but I don't know if Xbox Game Pass has been such like a a mainstay staple in in the previous world. years or, or just yet. Like I don't think it's hit its. I don't think it's plateaued yet where like it's Netflix or it should just be a thing. I think it's too good. No, it is, but I still think it's pretty underground. It should be illegal. No, no, it's the best. No, it should be illegal. I like it. I hate it. I love it. Terrible. And yet I don't support it. And then Paul Chu writes in with his runners up. Yeah. Full Metal Alchemist. He does not say Brotherhood. No, no, he did in both. Oh. He did both. And Vinland Saga. Wow. And then his nominee is Attack on Titan. Shingeki no Kyojin. Da, 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 so right away, I gotta say, uh, uh, my vote here is not with Nocturne, bro. My vote here is One Piece. It can't be One Piece. It is One Piece. No, it can't be One it, Piece. It, 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 it is. No, it's not. It's the only choice. No. I I think it has to go to Attack on Titan, dude. Why? What? If in the last ten years, you've been listening to our show. Yeah. If you've been part of this, you whole know thing, that One Piece is dope as fuck. You like One Piece. Yes. Japan likes One Piece. But the world as as a whole does not care for One Piece. Everyone loves One Piece. Only Japan likes it One Piece. It is the most successful animated series ever. In Japan. Ever. Worldwide. What wait, what do we consist what's what's success? A thousand episodes. Oh, so it's the most anime. It's the it's A, it's the most anime. Oh, I think it's I think it's made the most money. It can't be One Piece. How is it not One Piece? Because it failed in America. There's, like if you didn't see if if like if I met someone my age and they're, okay. I'm there like, oh I never saw One Piece, I wouldn't be like, How have you never seen One Piece? Okay. I would say, 
That makes sense. You grew up here. I would say, wow, what a plebeian. And I'd walk away. When did you watch One Piece? Listen, four kids TV, baby. Yeah, but you didn't care about it. I thought it was sick. You only cared about it when you found out it was actually Japanese. And I learned that it was anime. Exactly. My, my you don't care girlfriend about at the time one... was like, yeah, this is yeah, yeah, Japanese yeah. or whatever. But Attack on Titan has been a mainstay in the entire community for the past decade. Dude, I watched... It's ha- like him saying he just watched Demon Slayer. Dude, I like, watched... Like, it's on that level. How have you not gone... I watched half a season of Attack on Titan. It doesn't matter. And it dropped that it shit. It doesn't matter. Until everyone was like, it's good now. And I'm like, all right, It okay. doesn't matter if you watched half a season. That is the biggest anime aside from Demon Slayer. Like, that is it. Like, I think their the, their final season's coming out, I don't know, 2022? Dude. It's not One Piece. thousand episodes. It cannot be One Piece. Okay, we gotta, it's time, I'm, I'm not giving up One Piece. Where, where's, no. where's our, so usually, when a tiebreaker like this happens, we have our producer TJ at the ready to choose. Yeah, our unfortunately, ready. scheduling concerns, he couldn't make it today. Should I call him? Should I just text him? I think if, if you call him, hopefully he picks up. All right. But you got to put him on like speaker, then up to your mic and see what he All says. Right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him up on the Discord. But I I, I just I refuse to, to let it be One Piece. I refuse, absolutely refuse. It just it cannot be that way, because One Piece just isn't important in this part of the world. It, for our podcast, it even isn't even that important. It's important. No, it's not, dude. It is not World, important. Worldwide important. North America is not the center of the universe, all right? For this Popular, podcast, it is. All over Asia, all right? How are you going to how you gonna diss your is Asian one brother piece, and over like is, that? Is One Piece even popular in China? Probably. No. I doubt it. Is it popular Wait, in the Philippines? Wait, did you pick up? I can't hear him. No. He didn't pick up. DJ, where are you? Yo. What did he respond to you? No, he didn't. I th- I feel like we need somebody. Like, call Blavin. Is he around? Oh, call Blavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, where's I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna call. Um, Do you know if he's home or is he still out in thing? He's still he's still out. Oh, is he? But he thought was he doing? It's the thirtieth. Nothing's open. Not going. Oh, out. TJ just picked up his phone. I think. Ongoing. Dude. What? Call him Blavin. Did it work? I don't know. He hasn't picked up yet. It just says ongoing call. As in like he's ongoing a call? Maybe. Ah, this is ridiculous. Dude. The, the hoops we have to run through. I know. I know. Okay, you call TJ and I'll continue calling Blavin. Who's calling you? Nobody. So my, my phone plugged in. Come on, guys. Hey, you there? Shit. Tur- turn it up. Hello? It didn't work. It didn't work. So I'm going to call him the old-fashioned way. On his phone number? On his his actual phone number. Hot damn. I hope this works. That's a ringtone. Oh, he's playing a game. Dude, come on. Can't come over. I need you to decide something. Okay. All right. Late to the party award. For our listeners. For the listeners. Okay. What do you think is more deserving? One Piece okay. or just watching Attack on Titan now? Yo, just watch Attack on Titan. Oh, my ah, God. Thank you. Oh, my thank God. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. Keep your phone near you. We're going to call you more probably <laughs> later. Oh, you can. Discord. I just didn't have my mic plugged in. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. thanks. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. Damn it. There we have it. I told you. It's Attack on Titan. It's crazy how wrong everybody is. That's wild. That's so nuts. Oh, wow. That's insane. Wow. It's insane. Wow. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Is it me? I think so. Best meme. You like memes? I love the good one. All right, so do we. Uh, Gabe... Writes in with his runner-up trade offer. Oh, the, the man yeah, in front. Yeah, yeah. I give you this. I receive this. Where is this. that from? It's just a TikTok. Oh, okay, it's okay. just a TikTok. Okay. Uh, and his nominee is Anakin and Padme. That's the one for the better. That's right? the one. That's a good meme. That's the best That's one. That's a good meme. Uh, Joseph Hazel writes in with his runner-up twisted tea to the face. I don't think I remember this. This is when this guy he gets like a fucking plastic jug of twisted tea just domed. 
off of oh. it. It's pretty funny. Okay. It's not very reusable. Okay. Uh, and then his nominee is GameStop stocks going all the way back to January of GameStop oh, stonks? To, stonks, oh. baby. GameStop to the moon. Oh, okay. And it all the crypto bros got really fucking annoying after that. So yes, yes. I think that's a negative for that meme. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, land runner up is uh, Squid Game memes. All right. Just generally Squid all Game, right, pretty all good. Right, all right. And his nominee is Chinese John Cena. Which oh, is, that's pretty good. The edits are so good. Have you seen the one where they put his face over uh, Mao Zedong's picture? No. And so it's it's John Cena's face with Mao Zedong's bald head. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's like just his face. Yeah, oh, it's wow. so funny. It's oh, okay. so good. Okay. Uh, Rafid Khan writes in with his Justice nominee. You should kill yourself now. I don't know this meme. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this meme. Wait, what? You should kill yourself now. You should kill yourself now is apparently the meme. Which, like, when he wrote that in, I was like, damn, dude, what do we ever do to you? What the fuck? Uh, it's a YouTuber from and Street Fighter Lower Tier God. Oh, I, that's a FGC I, meme. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it now. Dude, that's. I've never heard this. That's a deep cut. Yeah. That's not gonna win. <laughs> you're, you're 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 in a deep now. I see what transformation you've taken on this year, sir. He's, I have. Seen how many body pillows do you own now, like, Rafi? Dude, you've done right. it. Damn. Uh, Ryan Mack writes in with just his nominee: Squid Game old man sitting meme. I don't quite understand. I dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. I don't remember any Squid Game memes like at all. Yeah, me either. To like, be honest, like, I don't either. <laughs> Like the only thing for old man sitting I remember is he peed his pants. Did he pee his pants? He got scared in the dark. Oh yeah. Like but I don't know if that's a meme. True, true. All right. Paul uh, Chu. And then Paul Chu writes in with Bernie Sanders as his runner up. That's a good where he's sitting. Oh yeah. With the gloves. Yeah, yeah. That was at the inauguration, right? Mm-hmm. Of uh Biden? Is that where I that's from? Was it wait, wasn't the inauguration last year no no he won but he gets sworn in in january oh yeah yeah, yeah. Right? okay yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah he's got the gloves on that's a good meme oh yeah because it was cold yeah 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 and it, and it reinvigorated <laughs> i am once again asking <laughs> yeah. you for your financial oh, contribution that's a class no that's, that's a, a class that's a good meme yeah, 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 uh yeah. and then his nominee is cabby lame cabby lame what is cabby lame okay what is it oh the dude yes yeah the dude that guy's that guy's really funny. Is he a like? Is he a meme? Does he have his own meme format? Like, is his TikTok considered a meme, or is that just the like that's his, his gimmick? style of TikTok? Yeah, because yeah. mm. I wouldn't call him a meme. I think he was a meme before I knew who he was, and then once I learned that that was his like shtick, that's his whole thing. Yeah, then, hmm. Stonks is pretty good. Dude, it's Anakin and Padme. It is. It's Anakin, it's Anakin, and, Anakin and Padme. That's an easy Padme. one. It's Anakin and Padme. Let's be real. Padme. Yeah, sick. 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 For the better. <laughs> oh, right? my God. Right? Best surprise is up next, and I love this category because it's where I get introduced to things that I might not have ever seen. I think you've seen all of these. Well, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe writes in with his runner-up, Super Robot Wars 30. That's mm-hmm. a good pick. Good pick. Yeah. His nominee is Metroid Dread, which kind of confuses me. Yes. Were we expecting this to be bad? Uh, like, no? has there ever been a Metroid game? Like, has does Metroid oh, have yeah. the stigmatism of being bad? Yeah, yeah, Prime. Oh, shut up. Yeah, shut all up. the Prime games. Shut your dog face. shit. Those are considered by many the best Metroid games. Yeah, with, for people with mental disabilities. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Wow. Like, those Prime games, wow. not great. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you are, uh, wow. I'm on another level, baby. I'm the video game expert of the year, so I don't have to tell you. And we know how, how just how valid that is and yeah. what that means. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, uh, you know what they say. Joseph Hazel, his runner-up is Ranking of Kings. Hell yeah. But his nominee is Shang-Chi. Okay. Was well, this expected to be bad? Or is it the fact that you're like, oh, shit. It's actually a, a good movie, like that represents Asians in a certain way. Because like I remember, we complained when 
I was gonna say Fifty First Dates, the Adam Sandler movie. What's the fucking what? Crazy Rich Asians. Crazy Rich Asians. When Crazy Rich Asians came out, everyone's losing their fucking mind. They're like, hell yeah, Asian representation in film. Let's go. And then we watched the movie, and both of us were like, this movie's not good. Mm. Like it's just average. I think I don't think Shang. No one thought. I don't think anybody thought Shang Chi was going to be like terrible. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm on record of think of saying that I thought it was going to be bad. Yes. But I think the surprise comes from the fact that it was way better. Than, than it, anyone expected. Yeah, like I expected it to be like at like one hundred percent like C tier movie. Okay, all right. Because that's what that character is, mm-hmm. right? But when you have a movie that's as good as that movie is, yeah, that is, which is basically to say, on the level of the other Marvel films, Damn. then yeah, I think that's totally valid. Okay, all right. Um, because yeah, like it, I think it's it's the same thing like with uh Black Panther, right? True. True. Right, because I th- I don't think any well, and I'm not trying to be mean or anything or mm-hmm. like racist here, but like dude, when that trailer I, came listen, out, I'm not racist, but I'm just saying that like <laughs> because it's clearly like a minority character, yeah, like unfortunately we've just been led to believe that it's not going to be as good sometimes or most of the time Hollywood when they lean super into like a race or a very specific political um topic yeah it's whatever it is the the medium the story whatever it always turns out to be subpar Absolutely. that is true because they focus too much on making it a uh, representation rather than it being a good story with representation exactly so when black panther came out it was like it was, it was just great. genuinely just an awesome movie hell yeah that's a surprise right but you be, we never thought it was going to be bad we just are like, eh, all right, we'll see how it goes. Like, an equal one would be like, I thought Captain Marvel was going to be good, but that was yeah. surprisingly shit. The movie sucks dick. Uh, anyways, cool. Um, Lands. Uh, oh, so we're not racist, but we are sexist. Uh, 100%. <laughs> Land right to win this runner up uh, Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Did you watch this? I did not. I've only heard that it's better, but not necessarily I've heard it's better. good. So it's better, but. Did we expect it to be worse than the original? Like, is it a surprise that it's better than the original? I'm I'm in the very minority camp where I liked the Justice League. I thought it was all right. I thought it was pretty good. All right. I wouldn't say it was great, but yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I liked it when Batman fucking put people into comas all day. <laughs> that's true. Batman was pretty sick in that it was movie. Batfleck? Hell yeah. Oh, shit. That's the one with evil soups. No, yeah. it's not. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah he's was. like, when <gasps> the Flash is running oh, around yeah, him and then yeah, Superman yeah. looks. At him while he's running? Hell right. yeah. Oh, he's so good. Okay. Uh, but his big surprise was Sora in Smash. I, I That's a good surprise. I didn't think that was going to be real. And then it was. I, I don't see how that's going to lose. And now he's one of the most busted characters in Smash, yeah. and it's great. I don't see how this pick is not is not going to win it. When you uh, Rafid Khan, his best surprise is Kamen Rider Double. All right. Which does not fall within the rules. Yeah, and is deleted because <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> but I guess, you know, this is the year you got into Tokusatsu, so good that, for you. So that's why he went Turbo Weeb. Uh, Tokusatsu. Tokusatsu. And you, well, let's read his comment. Rafid, my friend has been getting me into Common Rider. Oh, your friend's to blame. We just watched shows throughout the week. Currently watching Revice and Double. It's been wild to see how much attention to detail is in this show. From the character arcs to gags based around the character's attributes, been a wild ride the entire way, and I can't wait to see how it goes. So it sounds like someone just got into Tokusatsu. Yeah. Fair enough. That's a, you know, I like how, Double's Wicked. Unfortunately, your pick is, does is not. Is Double the one with the coins? No, that's O's. Double's O's. half and half. Where it oh, goes, yeah. Um, what is it? Something Joker? Joker. Something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. F- What's the green side? I, Shit. I only remember the other forms, like Heat Metal. Is it, and that's the one where the one guy, he, like, passes out? Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Brian Mack, his runner-up is uh, best surprise of Vancouver getting a white Christmas while me in New York didn't. Is that a surprise or is that a disappointment? I think that's a personal failure upon himself. So I'm assuming Brian was from Vancouver. Yes, and he moved and to New York. moved to New York. And Vancouver, uh, for those who don't know, is, uh, right I would say, like, the rainiest part of Canada. Yeah. Uh, so but, when it gets cold, it just rains. It'll snow. No, snow is not unless you go to the mountains. True. Like, but if you're like in downtown Vancouver, I don't think it snow rains. is a thing. Right. Well, at least not how we think of snow. Mm-hmm. 
but his big surprise is Pig, the movie. Nicolas Cage? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that movie is a Nicolas Cage movie. Really? Yeah. Pig movie. 2021 film? Yeah, 2021 with Nicolas Cage. You're right. It stars Nicolas Cage, Alex Wolf. Okay. Sure. I... He's a Portland-based chef who really is a reclusive truffle forger. Huh. And he lives in a cabin deep in the Oregon forests where huh. he hunts truffles with the help of his prized forging pig. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. And Paul Chu's nominees are Squid Game and Shang-Chi. Okay. Again, with the Asian representation, but his winner is Arcane, a League of Legends story. I don't want to give Riot an award. I want to give it to Sora. Uh, Arcane was really good. Did you finish it? No. But from what I watched, it was really good. You didn't even watch the best part then. I did. You're right. So Sora and Smash it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we're going to decide it. Yeah, Sora and Smash. I'm, I'm okay with Sora and Smash. Everyone lost their minds with Sora and Smash. People were crying. Yeah, and those people need to get checked. Like, relax. No, I mean, like, if you like something, you like something. To cry, though? Yeah. Like, it's... Yeah, whatever. All right. I'll, I'll Why you gotta be it. such a hater? Because I hate things. All right. Wow. Let me hate things. In Some peace. people have passions about these things, and you're just like, "Fuck you!" Yeah, in your heart. Fuck you and your passions. Uh, things you like. Ooh, Ugh. that's the case. Disgusting. How about I start lighting a fire on those stackable storage containers you have? Bruh, listen. I don't want to commit homicide, <laughs> but what you, gotta, what you gotta do? What you gotta I do? I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, sure. I'm <laughs> giving you an option. Sword and Smash? Uh, Sword and Smash is the uh, best surprise for our listeners. Sword and Smash it is. And what's the next one? Uh, never got around to it. So something you wanted to do or experience in 2021, and you didn't do it. And I'm pretty sure it had to have happened and released in 2021, right? Is that our rule? It can't. Oh, yeah, it has to have released. It has released. to have been yeah. released in 2021. Yes. All right. So Gabe, with this runner-up, Jujutsu Kaisen. Hmm. Did that end that this, anime? Did the end of this season? Uh, I'm pretty sure that started this season. No, Jujutsu Kaisen. The anime? no, no, no. But like the last season, because there was no anime throughout the song, unless it like the the previous season ended in January. Uh, I'm pretty sure that only came out like that anime only came out this year. This year. Oh shit! All right. The manga was out last year, but the anime, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was okay. This, year. this is where. I, I got some questions for Gabe. Okay. Because his underappreciated runner-up, if you remember, Back for Blood, right? <laughs> his never got around to it <laughs> is Back for Blood, <laughs> which like, bro, it doesn't count. <laughs> if you never got around to it, how could it be underappreciated? Gabe, you're killing me here. Maybe he's just speaking for the greater whole. Like he's like, you know, this game looked cool. How come no one talked about it? Or like he played a little bit of it, maybe. Or maybe, or maybe it was like, this game looks so cool. How come no one's talking about it? If if more people talked about it, I would have got around to this, it. Not, nah, <laughs> nah. That's some bullshit. That come on. <laughs> that's. I think we no, got. You don't like that. I don't think that counts. All right, all right, fair enough. All right. Uh, Joseph Hazel writes in with his runner-up, Tales of Arise. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. And his nominee. Buying a PS5. Oh, that I think a lot of people sucks, homie. Never got around to it. As as the, as the sole PS5 owner in the room, I think in your whole friend group. No, Eric has one. Oh, Eric has one. Okay, all right. Um, you're not missing out. Don't worry. All right, there's, there's a lot of PS4 gaming going on. <laughs> uh, jo- Lan writes in runner up Dune. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. And his nominee is Succession. What's that? The HBO series. Oh, drama. Drama. Oh, About okay. a rich family who's trying yes. to get a lot of money, like billionaire yes. money. Yes. Parent, I've only heard good things about Succession. I heard it's very good. It is a good pick. Mm-hmm. Rafiq Khan writes in with his only pick nominee. Near Automata did not come out this year. What if he meant Replicant? If he meant Replicant, I'll give him the pass because it's a remake. But All right. Automata didn't come out this year. All right. We're just going to assume it's Replicant. Okay, we're going to assume it's Replicant. But that's a weird typo. 
It's a pretty severe typo. I mean, I'm pretty sure he actually meant automata because he did pick double for the last category. True. So this could be for like something he planned to do, but he never got around to it. Because this is the year he awakened to, tr- to Turbo yeah. Weeb. And he's like, 2B. Maybe those guys were right picking 2B as the hottest girl of all time. She was the hottest girl Dude, of all time. Dude, 2B's so hot. It's wrong how hot she is. It's crazy. It's crazy that th- 3D is superior to 2D. What? Because 2B is in a video game. She's a polygonal character. She's 3D. Oh, okay, but she's right? not. But, you only but she's get, not real life. But you only get to see her on a 2D surface. But I see. I can see her in a 3D space. You can't feel her. Not yet. <laughs> oh, disgusting. <laughs> not yet. Uh, <laughs> VR technology. Uh, it's coming. Uh, uh, Brian Mack writes in with his nominee only finishing. Any video game. Brian, I don't like this answer. This is a bad answer. Do you know why I don't like this answer? Why don't you like this Because we were all inside for the fucking pandemic. How what could you not you finish do? anything? He's, he's a super spreader. Uh, he's going out to parties. Are you the guy in the Dairy Queen's mascot saying, I am an essential worker? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. He is essential. All right. He's essential to us. He's essential in our hearts. All right. Uh, and then Paul Chu writes in with his runners up. Uh... Mushoku Tensei. That's a good show. That's a good show. You know what else is a good show? Quadruple S Dynasty. Oh, it's also an excellent show. But the thing he never got around to was Demon Slayer Mugen Train. Wow. Which is the biggest anime movie. How did you miss that? How did. Okay. I know he's probably talking about the movie. Yes. But there is a case to be said he could be talking about the anime. I. I don't think he's talking about the end with like the little backstory portions and stuff. No, like because they re-released that movie as an anime with backstory. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, the, like that whole arc for Demon Slayer this year is Mugen Train. That's why I didn't watch the anime. I didn't care. But it's got new content. I don't care. Just give me the uh, red light district arc. Da-na-na-na-na. That song at the end when he's like fighting the dude. I know. I so know. Good. I know. I'm aware. All right. I'm aware. All right. What are we picking? Because Back for Blood doesn't count. <laughs> Near Automata doesn't count. <laughs> Finishing any game, you don't count. Finishing any game, I think it, it counts. <laughs> no. We're in the pandemic. How could you not finish one <laughs> game? No excuses. Like, to anybody who tells me, oh, you know, I didn't finish a single show. I Like, what were you doing? Watching VTubers? I was playing video games. Ooh, what if I never got around to subbing to a VTuber? Ooh, like, Does that count? <laughs> that's a stupid one. Yeah, that counts. That's, that counts. Sure. Uh, okay, we got Back for Blood. Doesn't count because he didn't play it. Jujutsu Kaisen. I think it's between Jujutsu Kaisen and Mugen Train. That's got to be Mugen Train. Like, if you're in the anime scene and you missed the biggest anime movie... Well, hold on. Was it the biggest anime movie? I think it, I think it beat out Spirited Away. No, I meant this year. Was it, like... I don't mean, like, in terms of... Um, uh, in gross value. I mean, like, in mind share. Is it the Ooh. biggest movie this year? Because you know what other animated movie came out this year? Yes, I do. And it is probably the biggest anime movie. Evangelion. That's what I'm saying. Three, like, Yeah, true, true. But okay, then within the context of the picks, is Jujutsu Kaisen bigger than Mugen Train? Uh, no. It's true. It is an Infinity Train. No, it's not. I think it should go to Demon Slayer. All right, all right, all right. Because man, how, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. How did you miss the Demon Slayer? Movie? How did you miss Demon Slayer? It streams. Damn. It's streaming. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to go out. You just. I think that's it. how we watch. I think it. you can watch it for free. No, we did watch. We watched on Funimation. Yeah, like oh, right. they give you a free Funimation. I was like, account. I was about to say, like, don't you know how to pirate? But then I'm Dude, like, wait watched, a minute, we, we watched, watched it illegally. Here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair. Cool. 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 All right. Uh, next up is oh god, song of the year, baby, song of the year. And your music expert is going to read out to all the. Oh, no, shut the fuck up! <laughs> you don't even, you don't even listen you. to music. Gabe writes in with his runner-up weekend. By Taya. Dude. But his nominee is Lilac by I. Who invited the Korea boo? All right. What's going on here, Gabe? My girlfriend would be very proud of your picks. From IU? 
from both of them. Why do you guys like bad idols? Oh, wow. <laughs> like, wow. Bro, everyone knows Queendom by Red Velvet was the best K-pop song this year. So, Not according to the charts. Uh, according to my heart. Oh, right. wow. You sound like a K-popper <laughs> now. I stand <laughs> all these people. I'm, an a- I'm anti-IU, oh, all right? Wow. Overrated. Joseph Hazel picks the ranking of King's opening. Hell yeah. What a banger. But his actual pick is the, no, smell, the smell of the game. Of the game. Whoa, baby. Get Every time that came up in the trailer, so good. Uh, Lon has picked Industry Baby by Lil Nas X. I don't remember what this for one is. His nominee. Uh, no, sorry, for his runner up. And his yeah. nominee is Driver's, Driver's License, License by, by Olivia Rodrigo, Rodrigo. which, I, I'll to be honest, quickly going through this, might be the only song I actually know here. I hate that song. Wow. <laughs> I dislike that wow. song. Wow. That's a good song. I know. His, her other one's good. Whatever. Um, Rafid has picked Footfalls by Masayoshi Soken. I, dude, who? 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 What? Where? Why? How? I got to Google this shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> we ain't weeb enough for this one. Put it up on Spotify. Dude, I can't even. Oh, it's the ending. For theme. Ed Walker. Mm-hmm. For FF16. 14? Ed Walker, yeah, yeah. I haven't finished Shadowbringers yet, so all I right. can't all talk. Right. But all of the Final Fantasy XIV soundtracks Shut are bangers. Shut up! Shut up! I have, I may or may not own <sighs> Blu-ray soundtracks for the Final Fantasy XIV video games plus expansions. Wow, you deserve. It. Wow. <sighs> That's really good. Brian Mack has picked for his runner-up Gales of Song from Bell. Bell. I. This is some anime shit Bell that is- I. Or was there a Disney movie that we didn't I don't think see? So. It's got to be some. Did it come out this year? Uh, it did. Yeah. Bell, original motion picture soundtrack. Wow. What is this? I don't know. This is looking like some B-Stars level. This is, is it Beauty and the Beast, but anime? This sounds like a movie. Dude. No. Okay. It's a hard no. Uh, Get out of here. But he actually picked Mobius from Gundam Hathaway's Flash. Is that the is that the new one that came That's out? That's the year? new movie. Let's 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 take a little gander All right, right there. Okay. Uh, Where's the drop, kid? It's pretty good. Alright. It's not bad. Yeah, I It's gotta, definitely a movie song. Definitely. Uh, Paul Chu has picked. He picked the good Olivia Rodrigo song. Olivia Rodrigo, good for you. Hell yeah! But his winner is Justin Bieber. Stay. That song's not great. Anthony, I I love to know where you're gonna go for this. I feel like you're. I know which ones you're gonna pick. You know, I and would, I'm gonna veto them. I would pick Olivia Rodrigo, good for you, uh, but it is a runner up. Yeah. So I think it's got to be Smell of the Game from Guilty Gear. Let me let me look at this one up. Dude, hard rock. Get your blood pumping. You got those weights doing bicep curls. Dude. Okay. Yeah, that's See? the one. Just, <laughs> right, just yeah. get pumped right, up. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. didn't get to the lyrics and you already chose. Yeah, I know. Because, you know, I see them every time they do those character intros. Yeah. Right? So sick. And I'm like, ah, this game this is fucking cool. All yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, dice game making all right. sick music. All right. Got me there. S- smell the game. All right, all right. You win, you win a category? TV show of the year. Ooh. And as the person who watches the most television. Oh, should, we should have right. switched the categories. <laughs> we should have switched the categories. <laughs> uh, um, we have uh, Gabe with his pick. His runner up is Sakugan. Yes. And his winner is SSSS Dynazenon. Nice. Dude, I watched a bit of Dino Xenon. It's a good show. It's a pretty good show. I watched it all. It's all very good. Uh, Joseph Hazel writes in with his runner at Fruits Basket. Get out of here. Bro, get the away. fuck out of here. What? This Fruits is why you didn't finish Basket. One Piece. Oh, my. You, you could have watched 24 more episodes of One Piece, but yet you're watching Fruits Baskets? Get, the f- get out of here, Mama Mia. Get out of here. All right. But he does, he does make it up with his nominee. He picks Invincible. Yeah. Fantastic show. It Absolutely is. fantastic. Absolutely. Uh Lan writes in with his runner up, Invincible. Yeah. But what beat Invincible this year for him is his nominee, Arcane. Yeah. The League of Legends mm. show. Rafid Khan writes in 
just his just his nominee, Midnight Mass. This was a Netflix show, um, and I heard fantastic things. I think it didn't get a lot of play. It didn't because it came out around the exact same time as Squid Game. Oh, that sucks. And I remember Blavin telling me like you should watch Midnight Mass. That show is sick. Yeah, so good. Okay, so good pick. Uh, Brian Mack writes in with his runner-up Loki. Oh, okay. And his nominee, Arcane. Nice, nice. And then Paul Chu writes in with his runner-up, Invincible slash Loki slash Arcane. Mm. Then he writes in with his nominee, Odd Taxi. Damn, Odd Taxi. There it is again. It, it's there again. But I think this one's we can't even fight the people on it. Two nominees for Arcane. There are two nominees for Arcane. But you're like robots, though. <laughs> no, because I was looking. I'm like, it's well, yeah. Two nominees for Arcane, three mentions total for then, Invincible. Yeah, but two Ar- mentions for Loki. Yeah, so I, I think it's it's Arcane or Invincible. But yeah, Arcane has more nominees, and I can't argue against Arcane. It's a good show. As someone who has seen, I, I the ain't entirety, mad. As much as I like Invincible, yeah, I ain't mad if Arcane wins. Arcane is a well-deserving winner for TV show of the year. All right. Next we got... Mm. Movie of the year. You got the film. Oh, shit. That's right. Films. Of course. Oh, this makes sense now. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm talking about movies. Okay. Gabe writes in with his runner-up, Nobody. This is the action movie featuring the guy from Better Call Saul. The old man, the lawyer guy. Yeah, he was the law. Law- he was things lawyer in Breaking Bad. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. Okay. And it's the movie poster where it's his face getting punched from like a bunch of different directions. Okay. I heard this movie is fantastic. All right. I just I didn't get around to it. All right. Whatever. I didn't see it. All right. Gabe's actual nominee is Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Nice. No surprise there. All right. You must be Chinese. You must be Chinese. <laughs> Or Taiwanese. <laughs> What's that fucking Shenmue line? A long time ago, <laughs> I was Chinese. <laughs> oh, man. How does that pass? I'm, like, how does that get through quality? Man, old video game voice acting is the best. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Joseph Hazel has written in Shang-Chi for his runner-up. All right. But his nominee is Spider-Man No Way Home. Ooh, just came out. Lon writes in with his runner-up, The Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. Interesting. And his nominee is Mitchells versus The Machines. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I got to I gotta quickly do a, a Google on this one. Oh, that is not this what is, I was expecting. What is this? It is an animated Netflix thing. Young Katie Mitchell embarks on a road trip with her proud parents, younger brother, and beloved dog to start her first year at film school. But their plans to bond as a family soon get interrupted when they all die. No, <laughs> when, I was when, like, "Whoa, was that?" What yeah, happens? no, no. When the world's electronic devices come to life to stage an uprising. Okay, okay. This seems cute. Yeah, it seems alright. I don't know if it's better than anything else here, but okay. It seems, I mean, it seems adorable. You know, uh, it's a kids' movie. I would take a kid to see this. Rafid Khan has picked Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway's Flash. Interesting. Because the thing I got from Hathaway's Flash mm. is that nobody knew what was happening in the movie. So after they watched it, they had to go back and watch YouTube videos of people explaining the story up to Hathaway's Flash. And yet, I've heard everyone say it's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> and people have been dogging me for not watching that film yet. Dude, I don't... I think this is like collective... like disillusion of ju- everyone watched it and they're like it was good i like gundam it's like what happened previous to this movie i, I don't i don't know i watched a youtube video on it i don't know yeah right hmm. <sighs> all right okay um but next up is brian max yeah he also has gundam hathaway but as a runner-up as a runner-up but his his pick is evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 good fucking movie baby uh thrice upon a time it's a good movie yeah, it is. A, it's a great movie. Paul Chu has picked for his runner-ups Dune and Spider-Man No Way Home. Mm-hmm. But his nominee, and this is an outside pick. I've heard this is good, but... It's very good. 
It's Bo Burnham inside. His comedy special that he released on Netflix. Yeah, so that, I don't know. Does that count as a movie? So, I hope so. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it does. I don't think I don't think that counts as a movie. See, where would something like that fit? Docu. Anywhere else? Though? Like a documentary. Are documentaries movies? They're closer to TV shows. Hmm. Hmm. No, a comedy special is not a movie. It's movie length. It's like an hour and change, that, that whole special. Fair enough, but it's still not a movie. Hmm. All right. It is not a movie. Interesting. But you would count it if it was under television show. An I a- would. An hour-long television I episode. Would. I would. All right. All right. I would. All right. Absolutely. All right. I would. But yeah, for the purposes of this argument, we can't include it, but I just don't think it's going to win. Interesting. I just, I, I just don't think it can win. It can't win. No. 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 There's just too many other good things here. You're right. Mitchell versus the machines. <laughs> you can't say that once we've just been like, what is that? Hmm. You're right. And we should pick it. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, it's it's it's, it's Evangelion. Is it Evangelion? He, it's, there's only one mention of Evangelion. It's, it's, yeah. It's even, I see two mentions of Shang-Chi. Okay. Two mentions of Gundam. Not and right. two mentions of Spider-Man. All right, fine. It's probably Star Sh- Shang-Chi or Gundam. I don't know. Or Spider-Man. I, I was going to say, like, how are you going to do Spidey like that? <laughs> or Spider-Man. I don't know. Mm, that said, Evangelion is quite the film. It's a it's a very good film. It's quite the film. It's a very good film. I, I really don't know. I don't know. I think... I haven't watched Spider-Man. And I haven't watched Shang-Chi. Yeah. So I feel, and I haven't watched Gundam. Neither of us has watched Gundam. No. So I think you're the decider on this one because you've seen both Spider-Man and Shang-Chi. Uh, and Eva. And Eva. Listen, I'm here for Eva, but again, only one pick from our listeners. Okay. 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 I have to give it to Mitchell oh, versus the Machine. This is hard. This is so. Bo Burnham's inside. I kind of want to just give it to Gundam. Oh <laughs> my god, you haven't watched it! You haven't even watched it! Bruh. Yeah, but that gets me out of choosing. That's true. Okay. Just choose. Flip a coin. It's Spider Man. All right. Spidey How wins. could it not be Spidey Spider-Man. wins? It's Spider Man. I'll explain more about my reasoning later in uh, the other episode. In, in the true awards. Yeah. All right, hit him us with the game of the year. Game of the year, baby. Gabe writes in with his runner-up Super Robot Wars 30. And then his nominee, Metroid Dread. Interesting. It's a good game. Uh, Joseph Hazel's picks don't count. Because both these games were not released this year. Uh, he His runner-up was <laughs> Valkyria Chronicles, a PlayStation 3 game oh, no. that he played on the PS4. Oh, no. And he picked Yakuza Kiwami, which came out, I think, like, almost five years ago at this point. Oh, no. Joseph, what are you doing? Why are you watching One Piece? Why are you playing such old games? Listen, listen, One Piece is fine. Old games are fine. But in the context... Wait, actually, when was the PC release of Kiwami? Uh, Because if that was this year, that might be... That might count. Because Kiwami originally came out in 2016. It did. Um. Oh uh, no! Yes, Microsoft yes. Microsoft Windows 2019 Xbox One 2020. Ouch! It's outside of the the window. Ouch! My man. Okay. Get deleted. All right. <laughs> uh, Land writes in with not available. <laughs> it just it just doesn't have a game of the year. Okay. Rafid Khan writes in with Final Fantasy XUV. That might be a typo on my part. Oh, uh, okay. All right. He writes in with Final Fantasy 14. Endwalker, the expansion that nobody could log into. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brian Mack writes in with his nominee, Forza 5. Hell yeah. Her Forza is good. Her Forza is good. And Paul Chu writes in with the the picks of the gaming press. Dude, Paul Chu might be the realest gamer. He's the here. realest gamer here, I think. I see why you missed out on a couple things. Because he's been gaming. Yeah. He picks Psychonauts 2 as his runner-up. Damn. And he picks Deathloop. So you know Paul Chu has a PS5. You know Paul Chu has a PS5. Unless he's playing on PC. Good job for you, Paul Chu. Maybe he bought these on the Epic Games Store. Paul Chu does not strike me as a PC kind of man. You sure? Yes. Right. Okay. He's got too much of his mind complex. Like, a PC's too complex. You sure? Yeah. 
And all that. What do you got? What do you got? A wife? You got kids? Dude's got. Dude's massive Lego collector. There's no True. time for him to be building pieces. He's got all these mocks when to make. Exactly. Exactly. Man's on the PS5. He's on that mock train. That said, how the hell is he playing Psychonauts 2? Ooh, where is Psychonauts 2 released? It's not on PlayStation. Uh, it's X- Xbox or PC. Are you telling me that he has an Xbox Series X and a PS5? Now it's starting to think that maybe he just has a PC, because that probably seems more sounds likely. Like he has a PC. <laughs> it sounds like he has a PC. No, Paul seems like the kind of guy who has a Series X and a PS5. <laughs> and a Series S. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just for fun. <laughs> just to complete the collection. The PS yeah. the Series S is at his office when he needs to take that break. He actually doesn't have it. He just built it out of Legos. <laughs> <laughs> like the, those were his mocks. He built he built a working PS5 no. okay. <laughs> out of Legos. Uh, there's a lot of good games in here. Oh, wait, you know what I like about this list? Wait, tell me. There's no overlap. There's no overlap. There's a ton of variety. <laughs> Hold on. No, we got to cut some of them out. We got to cut out Valkyria Chronicles and Yakuza. Oh, no, those don't count. <laughs> okay. Those are gone. Yeah. Those are old games. Uh, those are, were not released in 2021. I've only played one game here, so I can only vote for one thing. I've only played one game here. Is it Metroid? Yeah. Oh, for some reason. Oh, yeah. You haven't I'm, played Endwalker. I'm, I'm an expansion behind still. Oh, you haven't played Endwalker. So I haven't played Shadowbringers. So I haven't got to. Oh, I didn't shit. buy Endwalker. That's right. I forgot. I forgot, too. So yeah. Um, Did you beat Dread? No. No. You know why? Why? Because it was on the Switch, and my friends were like, "You want to play Civ?" <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> cool. yeah, sure." <laughs> um, but Metroid Dread is is very good. No, I know it's good, but isn't it as good as Forza Five? Uh, I heard there's cars in that game. There's many a car. Do they go <laughs> vroom vroom? Oh baby, oh, do they baby, go vroom do they vroom? vroom. <laughs> <laughs> and the Halo Warthogs in there. And it, oh, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Uh, you know I have to pick the car game. Like, just it's just out of principle. I cannot pick the not car game. But it's just a car game. Wow. It's just cars. So now you're just as insensitive as those idiots who run the game awards. Yeah, it's just cars. Oh. Who cares? Oh, it's just a fighting game. Who cares? Listen, all right? <laughs> Deep mechanics in those fighting games. <laughs> what, what Deep I, driving what physics. Is, what is not in Forza? What? What do you know? <laughs> I, I know that in that game you can launch yourself off a ramp to like Absolutely. fly 10 kilometers no. in the air and then land perfectly fine with your car on Did you want to call TJ? Or do you want to oh, just we, Yeah, we should call TJ, but i got to figure out what I'm going to pick first. All right, what are you going to pick? Do you have another? Are, are you going to pick Deathloop? No. The game not. you like absolutely despise playing? Sure, I'm gonna pick my code red. So yeah, we need to call TJ. Call TJ. You call TJ. Oh my god! Also, I gotta do everything around here. What? Oh, fuck. So much work, bro. I set up. I set up the whole audio <laughs> interface. <laughs> Asking you to make one phone. <laughs> I called TJ the first time. <laughs> one ass. Dude's playing Baba is you. Hell yeah, I got him that. Christmas. Oh, is that you got him? Oh, yeah. by the way, thanks for the the AG racers. Oh hell yeah! Since you're never gonna get another wipeout, you know. <laughs> you mean F zero? Same thing. Who cares? Wow! <laughs> Who How can shit? you be insensitive? They're both racing. Who cares? You suck. You. Suck. All right, TJ. All right, TJ. We got another one for you. Okay. So it is the game of the year for the listener awards. Okay. It is between Forza Five and Metroid Dread. I'll tell you the other nominees in no, case you don't want to pick between the two. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other ones, uh, or do you? Or do you do you not care about the other nominees? Uh, well, I've only played. I don't know anything about Dread, so. Okay, so the other games are Super Robot Wars 30, oh, shit. Endwalker, Psychonauts 2, and Deathloop, and then Forza 5 and Metroid Dread. Man, that didn't help at all. Damn, it did not. But Metroid though. But cars. <laughs> but but cars, they go fast. <laughs> Out of all the games you've, you've named, Forza mm-hmm. is the only one I've played. But do you think that you would have a better time with Metroid Dread? Wait, you cannot influence right, theoretically. The, you can't influence the joke. It's his decision at the end of the day. I don't have to tell him. <laughs> Ooh, wait, what were the other ones? Super Robo Wars 30, Endwalker, Psychonauts 2, Deathloop. Uh... Or you can pick your own game. Or can he only do that for ours? You only that for ours. Okay, you, know, you, you can't pick your own game. Sorry. Yeah, I wasn't going to. Mm, 
I think I'd have to go with... Suspense. Oof. Even though I haven't played it, I, I want to say Metroid. Oh! Wow! Thank Metroid. you, TJ. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Alright, we'll call you back with some more pressing questions, some more pressing tiebreakers. Alright, sounds good. Alright, see it. Wow. Metroid it is. Hell yeah, baby. Metroid. Metroid Dread. Fucking eight-hour game. <laughs> Dude, price, length, does not equal quality. All That's right? what she said. <laughs> right, it's width. Get that girth going, baby. Wicked, it's so the, it's Metroid it's Dread. The depth. Wow, wow. Disgusting. Metroid Dread is your game of the, the year. For our listeners, and that comes to almost the end of our list. Yeah. We have one more category. Yeah. And is the best of the year. Absolutely. So we mentioned at the top of the show, but I'll remind you again, the best of the year in the listener awards case is whatever, if they listed something, that'll count for their list. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, anything that's won in the previous categories yep. is allowed. Yep. And then we choose what the listeners think is the best thing this year. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go through everything that's picked plus what's in the uh, whatever Okay. Okay. So, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6. Hell yeah. Final Fantasy 14 Endwalker. Hell yeah. Zendaya. Hell, okay. Omni Man. Nice. Sakugan. Okay. Record of Ragnarok. Okay. Attack on Titan. Wait, do the negative categories count towards best of the year? They sure do. All right. Uh, Anakin and Padme's For the Better Right. That's meme. a good meme. That's a good meme. Sora in Smash. The Demon Slayer Mugen Train movie. Smell of the Game, Guilty Gear Strive's main the theme. Game. The TV show Arcane. Spider-Man No Way Home. Or Metroid Dread. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. No. Bro. No. Are you kidding me? No. This shit's so good. It's so good. That he put it, it, it was in its own category. Just to put it in its own category. He didn't even put it in Best TV Show. He I put it in his own category. I cannot. It can only be crowned. I cannot take the, the opinions of a man who picked Game of the Year that g for games that did not come out this year, nor last year, nor anywhere near this time. Okay, listen. Count counter argument. The man decided to start watching One Piece, which he couldn't finish because he'd rather watch Fruit Basket. That, that's fucked up. That's true. He did do that. He also did pick Jet from Cowboy Bebop. So I cannot... You know what? You're making a, you're making a good choice here. I cannot say JoJo. But JoJo. No. No. Cannot be JoJo. All right. Rafi picked Endwalker. Gabe picked Metroid Dread. Yeah. Hmm. Metro Dread is the game of the year, so like yeah, so I guess they cross out, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, cross yeah, multiply, yeah, and then they cancel yeah, each other out. Yeah, is that how it works? Math, something like that. Pythagorean's theorem. What of okay of the things here listed? Mm -hmm. What do you personally What's like? What do you think? What do you, what do you think is good uh, good representation for the audience? For the audience, probably. I feel like it has to be something anime-related, only because everyone seems to be very anime-inspired. True, true. And Rafi did become a turbo weave. He, he sure did. He did. It's true. He sure did. Unless, unless Rafi, you always have been, and we just failed to realize that. Maybe. If we go back, we see the signs like, of <laughs> yeah. him deteriorating like, yeah. over the years. Um, Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure Zendaya is like the antithesis of anime. She's real. She's yeah. a real woman. Yes. So okay. she doesn't count. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Arcane's kind of anime. Sure. It's animated. Mm, mm. Guilty Gear is definitely anime, but I don't think that counts. I think oh, Sora and Smash might count. I think that's like the ultimate anime pick. Right? Like that is the weeb pick. Like, like that is Sora the, and that Smash is the one. Is like the best thing to happen this year? For, for the anime community? Hell yeah. And like it's funny because Sora's not anime. I know. He's video game. I know. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm okay with Sora, as am I, as 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 am I. Sora and Smash. Sora and Smash. I like the sound of that. Sora and Smash. Sora and Smash is the best thing to happen to the audience in 2021. Wow, who would have guessed? Sora out here filling keyholes. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Wow, you went there. Dude, huh? we went there earlier. We gotta go there again. We gotta do the callback. Sora in Sora be smashing. Sora be smashing. Straight up. Damn. Did not see that coming. <laughs> There's so <laughs> many jokes. <laughs> So many. Ah. I, I I literally got choice paralysis for what quip I wanted to say there. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sword the best of the year, Sora and Smash. Sword and Smash. You want to recap? You want to recap all the winners before we go? Sure. Into uh, our audience's most anticipated stuff. Sure. We got a. Uh... Oh, I didn't go all the way to the end. We have hottest female, mm. Zendaya. Nice. We have hottest male, Omni Man. Wicked. We have most underappreciated in the next. Yep. Is Sakugan. We have disappointment of the year, record of Ragnarok, well deserved. Damn. Uh, we have late to the party award, One Piece, <laughs> seventy episodes. Shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! <laughs> it's Attack on Titan. Uh. <laughs> we have best meme, Anakin and Padme for the better, right? Uh. For best surprise, Sora in Smash. Mm. Best movie. Mugen Train. No, it's not best movie. Is it best movie? No. Oh, it never got around to never it. Never got around to it. Demon Slayer, Mugen Train. Uh, best music, best song, Smell of the Game from Guilty Gear Strive. What a pick. Well, that's a good, that's a good game. It's a good song. Uh, we got best TV show, Arcane. We have best movie, Spider-Man No Way From Home. We have best game, Metroid Dread. We have best overall, the best thing to happen to the audience in 2021. Sora and Smash. Yay! Yay! Wicked. Congratulations, Sora and Smash. Nice. But not in Kingdom Hearts 3. So fuck that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a, a couple things for our audience. Uh, from their most excited for things. We'll, we'll go through it. We'll comment if we feel like it. Uh, Gabe is really excited for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I think as are we. Yeah, we are. And he's also very excited for the Good Smile Company, the Gatai Daigarn X. This is an expensive robot. What the fuck is this? This is an expensive robot. I know that. It's it's looking big. Yeah, it's not small. But what's it from? Uh, Who is it? Why uh, is it? Where is it? Uh, this is it. This is like... It's from uh, Brave Fighter Dagarn. Who? Legend Dagarn. What? Is this some 80s shit? No, no. You know how there's Gal Guy Gar? Yeah. Before Gal Guy Gar... There was like dog shit. Every yeah. year there was a brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of them. Okay, all right. Yeah. And then Gal Gagar came out. And, and he like, became he's the, the king. He's the king of the brave. And that's the only one everyone ever remembers. True. People remember like X Kaiser and I think Gal Gagar. And then someone out there in the corner is being like, oh, but what about J Decker? Oh, J Decker. No one gives a fuck about J Decker, all right? <laughs> Relax. Uh, who else? Joseph Hazel is excited for X Men 97. Oh, X Men '97. What is this? Oh shit! I think they're. You remember the animated series, the X Men yes. from the '90s? Yeah. I think they're doing another season. Oh, I want to say that's what that is. Cool. X Men. I thought this was like a. Did that edgy X Men ever come out? The New Mutants. Um, like the live action. Yeah. I want to say yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X Men '97. Really oh, so it's like a it's action. a cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah, it's on oh, Disney Plus. Oh, sick! Hell yeah. yeah, that original cartoon. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I don't know if, actually if it's a continuation or if it's HD remaster. Well, that would be fucked up. Man. Four K. That would be so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, but he's also excited for Made in Abyss season two. Now that's something I need to watch. I heard only good things. Made in Abyss. Yeah. Jeez. Damn it. Uh, Lan is excited for Breath of the Wild two. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Jumping through islands in the sky. And he's also excited for Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Um, Rafiq Khan is excited for... He actually did a run, like a two picks for this one. Instead of just one pick. Oh, yeah. Uh, he is excited for the collapse of NFTs. Okay. He, just, he hates the, the NFT market. I think NFTs... The technology behind an NFT could I be I think cool. the technology of an NFT is cool. And could be very useful. I think NFTs as they are now... Are awful. Absolutely dog Yeah, shit. absolutely. So stupid. Yeah. Holy fuck. Um, but he's also excited for Elden Ring, as I think a lot of gamers are. Apparently, and I got that one wrong. <laughs> yeah, you fucking loser. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Brian Mack is excited for the end of the pandemic so he can visit Japan. I'm sorry, Brian. We just got... COVID got a new season. <laughs> Extending out to 2023, bare minimum. We're going to see how it goes out. You know, they might renew it in 2024. To 
depends on how it does with the audience. How it does know? with the audience. How kids are uh, reacting to so, it. So far, you know, they're reacting a, a lot less volatile to the new season. That's true. Uh, 50% less volatile. Reactions aren't season. as strong, but... Yeah. but we'll, we'll see how it yeah. goes. Hopefully it peters out. But yeah, Japan did close the country down. So They did. They sure did. That sucks, dude. Mm. Uh, and then Paul Chu wrote in with he's excited for the Book of Boba Fett. That just came out. Like, literally. As we're recording, that just came out. Man. And he's also excited for Doctor Strange 2. I am too. I think I'm more excited for Doctor Strange 2 than I am for Into the Spider-Verse. The animated? Yeah, the animated. Across, Across the Spider-Verse, sorry. It depends. I mean, Doctor Strange, like, that's one that can go either awful or... Super cool. Okay. Um, it's gonna be super cool. Mm. But that's that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff coming up in 2022. I hope you enjoyed the listener picks, even if you didn't write in. Hope you enjoyed this yeah, content. Hope, yeah. And I hope you're all satisfied with the winners you guys got. Sword and Smash. Yeah. And everything else. Yeah. Uh, interesting picks. Dude, <clears throat> Zendaya though. Zendaya is far more popular than I thought she would be. Yeah, I don't get it. She's all over the TikToks. Okay, let me take that back. Let me roll the back. Zanai is popular. Like, I knew she's popular. I just didn't think she'd be as popular with our audience. True, true. We do cater to a bunch of boomers. <laughs> yes. We are we are boomers. What does that say about our listeners if they're all picking the Zendaya? 20 year old? Does that mean we're Zoomers? Oh, shit, I don't know. Dude, are we Zooming? Or well, we're just disgusting old men. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't like the sound of New that. Year's resolution? Date an 18 year old. What? <laughs> We, we all know what Anthony's looking forward to in 2022. Come on. It's just a joke. Or is it? You'll never know. You'll find out on the next season of TNIAB. We hope to see you all next year. <laughs> and uh, we well, honestly, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for writing in. And, and yeah. Everyone who's just listening, everyone who wrote in. Like, I, I know we, could, we would probably still be doing this if we had, like, one viewer. But... It, it makes it so much better for the year to get your feedback, your questions, all your stuff. So Yeah, it's lots of fun. It's very enjoyable and fun. Of course, as you all know, this really is the award show that doesn't mean shit because the real one's happening Hell yeah. in the next episode. All the listener picks a bunch of losers. And Ugh. you can look forward to that on January 1st. Nice. So happy New Year's and hopefully you enjoy the award show. Yes. See you then. Bye. All right, just speak for a bit. Just say some shit. I'm just saying some shit, you know? I can't believe that Gabe would just fucking go full K-pop on this song of the year list when, you know, the whole industrial complex, K-pop industrial complex is just so toxic, you know? It's kind of fucked up. I... <laughs> nope. I'm not going to go there, and... I can't believe they would just, like, support slave labor. Wow. You just don't stop. Dude. Okay. Thank it's anti woman, oh, honestly. No. Right? As a feminist. Speaking of anti, <laughs> I saw a tweet. Actually, I saw a story that said, uh, and I agree, I would give up my anti war opinions if it meant I got a Gundam in exchange. I think a lot of people would do that. Fuck yeah. I would do that. Give me a like, robot. If I got a Gundam. Give me a robot. Does it also auto does it also give me a chance of becoming a new type? No, uh, you just get the robot. Like that's it. There boo. is no nothing else. All right. Okay. All right. We're good.